Hi, this is Jonathan L. on a Sunday night in Tucson, Arizona. And I've been kind of thinking about 1985 and Tucson music. I guess reflecting back, I guess we'll term it the music without a city. But I will kind of give you my indication of how I felt about 85. It's just my personal acknowledgments. My personal favorite bands for 1985 would have to be Naked Prey, Los Hamsters, unfortunately they don't exist anymore, and River Roses, who impressed me a lot from the middle of the year and, you know, more towards currently. My favorite producer of 1985 was David Slutz, whose work with the 700 Club, Sidewinders, and the Vegas Kids impressed me quite a bit. My favorite songwriter of 85 had to be Al Perry from his work with the Cattle and also his uh, personal stuff, which he does a lot of. Uh, the demo song of the year, just a one-song demo, had to be the group If, The Light. Got a lot of response on Virgin Vinyl, and uh, I liked it a lot. The best overall demo was the Sidewinders, and that tape was just a joy. I don't know what else to say about that. I really don't know what's going on with the Sidewinders, but maybe they'll be back in action real soon. The most fun crowd of 1985 had to be, and think about this one, folks, way back in the spring, Tequila Mockingbird, The Cattle's Record Release Party, Sardine Can, tons of people. What a great show that was. Uh, the best Tucson recorded record goes to The Cattle for Cattle Crossing. Um, I don't include bands like Naked Prey and some of the others because they weren't recorded in Tucson, but The Cattle's record was fantastic. The most manipulated band of 1985 had to be the Fanatics, and I don't think I'll go into the reasons why I feel that way. Uh, you can send me hate mail on that. Uh, the best studio of 1985, the most consistent studio, the most helpful studio, and the most friendliest studio goes to Steve English's Sound Factory, who recorded more Tucson bands in 1985, as he has the year before, and so on. Uh, the best club of 1985 had to be Nino's, once again, for consistency sake, uh, for everything that's wrong about Nino's, there's a lot of things that are still right about Nino's. A lot of bands that get their start there, and a lot of bands coming in from out of town, still. The most determined bands of 1985, it's a tie. The Distant, hard, hard workers, good kids, and they're still trying. They have a small following, they'll have to work on it. They're getting a record together. And it, all, the other band has to be You and the Risk from Nogales, Arizona. 60 miles each way, small following, but they're working really hard on it. 1985 in Tucson Music, the year of more talk, less action, unfortunately. Support local music in 1986. This is Jonathan L. on a Sunday night in Tucson. Thank you. Good night. Put the tape on.